doing a tutorial on what you see on my face right now. Now this is not going to be a tutorial on this look per se, but it's going to be a tutorial on how to make your foundation or your base makeup or your makeup in general last throughout the summer months. Now I live in a hot tropical country where it's like hot for like 9 months of the year which I know is pretty sucky because it's not like that nice summer where I can tan myself if I go out I will burn myself kind of hot so yes if you are going to be wearing makeup you need to ensure that it will stay on your face it will not melt off there's so many summer weddings that happen which I, I really don't understand the concept I would never agree on getting married in summers like no I will wait another year I can do that but I will get married only in winter months so yeah there are summer weddings there are parties there are birthdays there's so many events that might happen in summers and you're just like i really have to wear makeup but i don't wanna this is gonna help you through that so yeah i'm gonna be sharing a lot of tips and tricks in this video it's not about the products as much as about the techniques of how you use them to make sure that your makeup lasts throughout the summer months and yeah this is gonna be the final look that you will see and i really like it like i really really like it this is also great for oily skin people because you can use this to ensure that your oils don't seep through and nobody's gonna ask you to fry pakoras for you in your oil because that ain't cute i'm blabbering a lot today i'm in a happy choppy mood after a while i'm blabbering away i know you don't like it so we're just gonna move on to the video so yes if you want to know how to make your makeup last all day long in summers then please keep on watching so I'm going to start off by using Pack Makeup Moisture Lotion. Now why this is great is because it acts like a moisturizer but it also helps in making your makeup last for longer. So you're not going to end up with dry, part skin but you're also not going to end up looking like a greasy, hot mess. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that. You don't want to take more. I'm just taking one pump of this product and I'm going to massage it all over my face. Again, this is pretty light and it gets absorbed into your skin quickly. So even if you have oily skin, you can use it. Just make sure that you use it about 5 minutes or so before you start putting on your makeup. So I'm just massaging this well into my skin to ensure that my skin is nice and prepped for the makeup. Once that moisturizer is nicely absorbed into the skin, I'm going to move on to a primer. I'm going to be using the Benefit Professional Matte Rescue Primer. The reason why I'm using this is because it absorbs all of the shine and it's supposed to do that all throughout the day. It's not like you apply it and you're matte and then in half an hour you're going to go to an oil factory again. But it's supposed to constantly keep on absorbing all of your sweat and grime and oils. A couple of more affordable options that I have for you guys are the NYX Shine Killer which again is a mattifying primer as well as the Makeup Revolution Ultra All Day Prime and Anti Shine Balm. Now this one, I have like I I have major pan. I would say there's just a little bit of it remaining. Anywho, this is great for people who have oily skin. As you can also use it on top of your makeup to get rid of extra shine, as it absorbs all of that. So I'm just gonna use the professional, as I said, the matte rescue one. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that. It's a cool blue color and it also has like slight cooling sensations on your face, which is great for summers because you're already feeling so hot. Something cooling feels good like super 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 good so i'm just gonna start from the centers of my face because that is the area that gets oily the quickest so you want to start with the centers of your face make sure that you're pressing this down into your skin and not just swiping because if you're just swiping it's not going to serve your purpose pressing it downward ensure that your skin stays matte for throughout the day and not just like an upper layer of mattification now once your primer is done comes the most crucial step that is using a loose powder on your skin before the foundation now what this will do is again it will act as a barrier between sweat and your makeup so that the sweat doesn't come through your makeup we're just gonna push some loose powder into your skin and it will ensure that your skin has another layer of mattification going on make sure that the powder you're using is a loose powder I'm gonna be using the Cori Aspen powder which is a beautiful powder but if you don't have this you can also use the color bar um, this is the um, flawless airbrush powder which I love or you can also use the faces one again something that I love now the correct way to use this is by using a damp sponge this will not work I repeat this will not work with a brush you have to use a damp sponge for this so I'm just gonna take a little bit of powder in the cap of my container I'm gonna dip my sponge the butt of my sponge into the powder and I'm just gonna press it into my skin and you will see how it kind of disappears into your skin it's not gonna sit heavy on the skin another key point is to use a powder which has a very finely milled quality to it you don't want to use like a chunky um, loose powder so the recommendations I've given you are very finely milled they're not chunky at all if you can find this Scotty Aspen powder it's 
actually the best but if you can't then also it is okay like you can go ahead with the other ones they are really good as well once you do this what you will notice is that your foundation applies better it will last for longer as well as you would require lesser quantity of foundation as well because the liquid product will grab onto the powder product and you will require lesser product because it won't seep down into your skin now this step will be the suraksha coverage of your makeup next is the foundation you want to choose a foundation that is long lasting slightly on the matte side so that it does not have a dewy oily effect on your skin so the foundation i'm going to be using today is the estee lauder double wear stay in place makeup another great recommendation i have for you guys is the nyx stay matte but not flat foundation i love this foundation as well but today i'm going to be using the estee lauder foundation because i haven't used it a lot throughout the winter months so i want to use it now because it's hot and i can actually use it without it making me slightly more dry the nyx stay matte but not flat does not dry my skin out at all so i'm just starting off with a little bit of foundation you don't want to start with a lot of product just start with smaller amount of products you can always build it up but it's more difficult to build it down or tone it down so i'm just going to start again from the centers of my face and i'm just going to pat it into my skin now this is a full coverage foundation but if you don't like full coverage products you can definitely go for like a sheerer coverage estee lauder double wear also has like a sheerer foundation or you can use a bb cream or whatever you prefer for your skin now with that much of foundation we were able to cover this much of our face so i'm just going to take a little bit more because the sponge does absorb some product as well you can use a brush for this step as well like whatever floats your boat for foundation application you can do that there is no rule to foundation application whatsoever i love to go around my eyes before going in with concealer because it just ensures that i end up using lesser amount of concealer if you use concealer directly on bare skin you will end up using more because you're trying to cover more and more and more but if you already have a layer of foundation you will use lesser concealer because you would not hiding as much as dark circles you have once that is done i'm going to use a concealer and again you want to use a concealer which has like a long lasting capability i'm going to use my favorite which is the urban decay naked skin this is a weightless concealer so it's not going to weigh your eyes down some other favorites that i have and i have a lot of concealer favorites because i'm obsessed with concealers are of course the nars radiant creamy concealer then we have the maybelline fit me concealer we also have the mac pro long wear concealer this is slightly drying so it's great for oily skin or people who have oily um under eyes and then lastly i have the maybelline instant age rewind But as I said, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin today. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to do the concealing in the general way that I like to do. That is applying like a triangular shape underneath my eyes, especially going in this area because this is the darkest area of your eye, and also on my eyelids. Now you want to let your concealer sit for about a minute or so so that it gets settled into your skin. This will ensure that it lasts for a longer period of time. It will not crease up so quickly. It will have better coverage as well. So let it sit for a little bit of while so it dries down like just. half dries down it's like eyelash glue you want it to dry slightly but not completely so you're done with that you want to start blending it out what i like to particularly do is even after waiting for a minute i start by blending out the centers of my face first because it will give my eyes an extra amount of time as well and then i blend my center of the face before going in under my eyes so i'm just going to blend this out and then you don't lose as much concealer it doesn't move as much as it would have generally if you want to wait for the amount of time like before this trick before i knew this trick my my concealer game was always like really poor ever since i started like waiting for my concealer to dry down a little my concealer game has been up up and up so now i'm just going to start blending my under eyes as well and you will see that the coverage gets so much better like even with fuller coverage concealers if you don't let them sit for a while they don't give you the maximum coverage they would generally give you now before your eyes get any time to crease you want to take your powder again and you want to set them in place now baking or not baking is going to be your call totally just for this video sake i'm going to bake today because i want to show you guys how you can make your makeup last for the longest amount of time i generally don't bake a lot because again i am from the dry skin family so I don't need to but today we're going to bake our hearts out now baking just means picking up excess powder on your sponge and then just placing it under your eyes in an excess manner so you're not just dusting your under eyes you are literally applying loads of product under your eye just to ensure that any oil that you might secrete is absorbed by this and you let it sit for about 5 minutes or so so that your skin is completely mattified So I'm just going to bake my under eyes because that is the first area that anyone starts creasing in. 
I'm also going to bake my eyelid area because eyelids tend to get oily as well. A lot of people have oily eyelids which ends up in creased eyeshadow in no amount of time. And the other area that I'm going to bake is around my mouth. This might literally look like I'm baking the whole of my face which I'm not, I swear I'm not. But yeah, I like to bake around my mouth because my smile lines are very prominent and because I have a very expressive face, I'm over the top. I'm very expressive and I talk a lot so my smile lines just clock out on me pretty soon. So I'm just gonna bake my face right here and also my upper lip area. My upper lip isn't predominantly sweaty sweaty but I know a lot of women have upper lips which are sweaty. So this would help you guys in making sure that your makeup stays in place. And I, I just look amazing, don't I? Like I can go out like this right now. No, I can't. Sorry. Now, while my base is baking, I don't want to waste my time. So, I'm going to do my eyebrows. And for eyebrows, I'm using the Benefit Goo Proof Brow Pencil. This is what I've been using for the past 6-7 months, I guess now. So, anyways, a lot of companies do brow products like NYX, like uh, Maybelline. And they have amazing brow products. And Essence has amazing brow products. So, you can use anything that works for your eyebrows. I'm just going to use this one. Today is all about the base rather than the eyebrows and the eyes and everything. So, we really want to make our base last for long. So I'm just gonna do my brows. Now brows can also melt down so you want to use something that is long lasting enough. For me this product stays on my eyebrows till I want to remove it so that's a good thing. So I am just filling in my brows like I would normally do. This is a boring part so let's skip forward. Now till you get your eyebrows done your base would have baked properly so it's time to take it out from the oven and just dust everything off. So I'm just gonna use this wet and wild brush. This is a duo fiber brush. Pretty soft, pretty nice and for 300 rupees only so it's a great purchase. I'm just dusting it off like that and all of the excess powder is gonna come off like that. Once my bake is off, I'm gonna move on to bronzing. Now bronzing in particular you won't add to the longevity of your makeup as such but would make your makeup look very summery and very fresh. So I'm gonna be using the Tarte Hotel Heiress Bronzer. This is what it looks like. It's a beautiful bronzer especially for my skin tone. But if you want like a more affordable alternative, you can go for the Makeup Revolution Ultra Bronze which is pretty similar in the color, the texture, the everything. I'm gonna use this one today. I'm gonna to use the same brush, that same fat duo fiber brush. Why? Because I don't want a very structured look today. I want like a very sun-kissed look which looks pretty natural. So I'm just gonna dip into my bronzer. This is pretty pigmented so I'm just gonna dust off all of the excess. And then I'm just gonna go in circular motions on my cheeks just to ensure that my cheeks get some sort of color back into them. <laughs> I love bronzer so much. I feel like a nice bronzer has the ability to heal broken hearts. Now a lot of people love layering cream and powder products to make the product last longer. Personally, I can either do cream or powder. I can't do both. I feel like that's too much, too time consuming and just too much for the skin as well. So I prefer just doing one thing at a time. So for today, I've chosen powder because it is a summer look and we're trying to make it last long. But if you are a cream person, you can do that as well. Now my forehead is not too big so I don't need to contour it but I am going to bronze it slightly just to make it look sun kissed as well and not like an isolate Alaskan hub. Now I generally don't go for a lot of blushes but today I wanted to go into the blusher. I'm using the NYX Ombre Blush. This is in the shade Feel the Heat, very apt for this video. It's a very orange blush, it's an ombre blush. You can actually get about two or three different colors out of this. Now you can use whichever blush that you are comfortable with, a coral, a pink, a mauve, whatever you feel like you want to use. I'm going to use this one so I'm just going to literally just take three taps maybe and I'm just going to smile. And I'm going to apply it on the apples of my cheeks just to get a little bit of color on my cheeks. Then next up we're going to blind everyone because we're going to be the sun. I'm going to use a highlighter for that. I'm using the Ultra Glow by Kylie Cosmetics. Sadly I don't have like a cheaper alternative for this right now because it's just so gorgeous. This is in the shade Fiji. This is my favorite out of the three shades that she had for her Take Me On A Vacation collection last year. But yes, we're going to be using Fiji today which I've been using I think for the past six months now. And I don't think I'm like near to ending it as well. So this is blinding to a parallel universe. This is not just blinding to the sun. This is blinding to a parallel universe altogether. So the other sun in the other universe, beware. We have Fiji from Kylie Cosmetics with us. You're going to see what I mean in a second. Like... Can you not see that? Like, ugh, this is flipping gorgeous. Like, like, even if you don't like Kylie Cosmetics personally, if you try these out, you're gonna flip and love them. I'm also gonna go on the center of my nose, just above my eyebrows, a little bit like dusting it all over my forehead because I want that glow to be there. 
and then lastly on my cupid's bow a lot of people say you can skip highlighter during summer because you're gonna sweat anyway but because i don't sweat on my face and i still love the glow even after sweating i'm gonna go overboard with my highlighter now once you're done with that step comes the step which is gonna bind everything together it's gonna make you look fresh and nice and well put together i'm gonna be using a finishing spray this is the nyx matte finishing spray you can use any finishing spray that you love they also have a dewy one but you can literally even use rose water if you prefer but i'm gonna use this today because it adds that matte effect to it so i'm just gonna spray my face with this i'm literally gonna take a quick little shower in this one And after that, I'm gonna pick up my sponge and literally just touch it on my skin. Like I'm just like touching it, like bouncing it on my skin. I'm not pushing down anything, just touching it everywhere. This will pick up any excess powder that we might have. This will also ensure that our makeup looks well meshed together and it kind of looks like our skin. Anytime you think you've gone a little overboard with the powders or anything, you can remember that you still have the setting spray technique with you because this just ensures that your skin instantly just looks. 10,000 times better than what it was looking originally. Now because that just took away a lot of my highlighter, a lot. I'm just going to apply a little bit more because I love my highlighter to be blinding as I told you guys. And if you apply it on slightly damp skin, it's going to be way more blinding than it was before. All right, so once my base is done, I'm going to move on to the eyes. I'm not going to pay like a lot of attention to the eyes because as I've said a gazillion times in this video already, it's more about the base and how to make it last long. But still you want to put something on your eyes to make yourself look put together. So I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions. It's a beautiful neutral palette with hints of gold and silver in it. But if you don't want to go for this one, I have a couple of options for you guys. The first one being the MUA Undress Me 2 eyeshadow palette. This has pretty similar colors. I was swatching it alongside and I feel like it's almost a not completely because it has some different colors but yeah it's almost a dupe and i think it's at a fraction of the cost we have that i also have the technique mega nudes 3 again it has pretty similar colors so you can go for this one and the last one i have is the nyx perfect filter palette this is in the shade golden r and it has beautiful neutral shades along with some golden ones in there and i think i'm literally going to slap on like what three eye shadows on my eyes so i'm going to start off with this warm brown one right here and i'm using a fluffy brush today and i'm just going to put this in my crease just to warm up my crease and make sure that it has some dimension now this is not particularly an eye tutorial because there's nothing to do in this one so it's going to be done in three steps so yeah it's a quick look i'm also taking that same shade on my lower lash line and after that i'm going to pick up this dark brown color right here even this is a matte one i'm just picking a very small amount of this and again i'm just going in my crease to define it up even more Again I'm also going to go on my lower lash line with this one and then I'm going to take this golden color right here with my finger because this is like a foiled pigment eye shadow so it works better with finger and I'm just going to apply it all over my eyelid area like this is the show stopper as you can see it's a beautiful color you can just like either slap this on and do nothing for your eyes as well like literally just this on the eyes would look so beautiful As for my inner corner, I'm going to go back in with my highlight and I'm going to place it in my inner corners to just brighten up my eyes further. I'm also going to apply it right below the highest point of my brow. Now you can go ahead with the liner if you want. I'm just going to leave it like that because I haven't been into liners of lately. I'm just going to move on to my mascara next because I already have eyelash extensions on my eyes. I just need to brush them through with my brush. You can however use any mascara. Some of my favorites have to be the MAC Bold Bad Lash Mascara, then we have Maybelline Lash Sensational and Essence Get Big Lashes. Now using a waterproof or not waterproof mascara is your personal choice. I am not hugely into waterproof mascaras because they are so difficult to remove. But if you are someone who's afraid of their mascara running away, like running down on their face, you can definitely use a waterproof mascara as well. I'm just going to use the MAC Bold Bad Lash Mascara on my lower lashes. Now lastly we have the lipstick which again is your choice completely. You can use whatever that suits you, whatever that you like. I'm going to be using MAC Top with Brandy. This is their liquid lipstick so it lasts for a really long time. Another color that I feel is pretty similar, not same but similar to it is Soft Spoken by NYX. But as I said, you can use whatever you prefer. You can use a bright fiery color or you can use a brown or black or purple, whatever your heart desires. I'm just going to use this kind of mulled pink today. 
Also, if you want to make your lipstick last longer, just apply a little bit of foundation on your lips because it will give a nice base to your lips and to your lipstick to stick onto something. Also, it would ensure that the true color of the lipstick comes through and your pigmentation doesn't come in the way. I know a lot of people think this leads to crusty lips, but it will only lead to crusty lips if your lips are not exfoliated and are dry and chappy. And with that we are done. This is the full look right here. This will last you all day. I have been sitting inside this room without a fan, without AC, under hot lights for more than an hour now and it still looks good on me. The base looks beautiful and it's just it's just really a very long lasting makeup tutorial that will serve you throughout summers. This is great for parties, weddings or every day if you wanna. It's great for actually everything. And I really like this look as well and how it turned out and I hope you guys did as well. If you did then don't forget to comment and subscribe. It would mean the world to me and the parallel universe too because they are seeing us now. Also if you have any other requests please leave a comment down below. I would love to do whatever you guys want to see. And I will see you guys super soon. Till then take care. Bye.